Well, hello, thanks for joining us here for Your Word for the Day. This week we're talking about the fourth measure of a growing Christian, that is forgiving, which is where we ask ourselves, to whom am I extending grace? And this is a significant one for us as individuals because we are so prone to finding other people's faults while seemingly ignoring our own. And unfortunately, that result or that reality doesn't lessen at all with the result of us being involved in church. Nearly every research study from Barna and other organizations that they've done about why people don't like Christians in the church finds that the number one reason is hypocrisy. We, we point out other people's faults and correct them while ignoring and justifying our own sins and mistakes. And this isn't a new phenomenon. In Luke 18, Jesus tells a parable that that points out this exact reality. See Luke 18, starting in verse 9, it says, He told a parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. He said, Two people went up in the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed, Thus, God, I thank you that I am not like the other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift his head to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. See, the message that Jesus is trying to communicate here is that there's value in us living with humility and honesty about where we're at and showing grace to others for their hang-ups and issues as well. See, our desire is to compare ourselves to others and say, man, I'm thankful I'm not like them. I'm thankful I don't waste my money like them. I'm thankful I'm not as lazy as they are. I don't have the anger issues they do or the life issues they have. But instead of comparing yourself to other people, let me encourage you to compare yourself to Jesus. See, the Son of God who came and lived a perfect and sinless life so that He could both be an example to us and also die for us in our sins is the one we should compare ourselves to. Because when we do that, when we compare ourselves to Jesus, we can only see the areas we need to improve on and the ways we don't measure up. And the result of this is that we'll be humbled just like the man in this parable. We will find ourselves crying out, be merciful to me, a sinner, and find new joy in the grace available to us in Jesus because of this. And we'll also see the grace that other people have and need as well. So today, let me encourage you to stop comparing yourselves to others and judging them and ranking your sins versus theirs, and instead compare yourself to Jesus so that you see both the need for growth in your life and the grace that Jesus offers us. So in return, we can live with that same grace towards others. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.